Hello YouTubers. After doing my Sony Vegas tutorial on how to do a side by side video, I thought I would do one in Movie Edit Pro. Now I normally use Movie Edit Pro 15 Plus, but the way that you do a side by side video is different to Movie Edit Pro 14. So what I thought I'd do is do the tutorial in 14 so that you can use it and I assume that the previous versions to 14 will be similar to 14 and 15 if that makes any sense so this is the result we want how do we get it right well first of all what you want to do is drag your movies into the timelines like so as you can see we have the video there there's the second one and there's the other one now it doesn't really matter which video goes on top and the reason being is you'll see why in a minute so what you want to do is click on the first video, right click, go to image size and position and that brings up this little box. First thing you want to do is unclick keep proportions. Then what you want to do is move the box to about roughly where you want it. So let's say there. Now as you can see there hasn't been any change. You then click on the back picture and then do the other side and there's the other box and that is why it doesn't matter what video you click on because you have the capability of editing both videos at the same time which I think is rather groovy and it is similar in 15 but I'll probably do a tutorial on that later on so basically you tweak it to how you want it press OK and that gives you the two side by sides now obviously you'll have to sort of make sure that it all fits properly but that's something that you can do later on so there's the two side by side videos now what we want to do is put in the text what we do is we go to the T button press T ignore that and that brings this up so what we want is side one Space, 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 side two. As you can see, it here it is on the screen. So again, you just move it to however you want it. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. So what I did was press on the font, also press on the color, which makes it white. Then I want a border, so I click border, unclick 3D, go to advanced, make that blue, move that up a bit, maybe three. And that's basically giving me that effect. Now you can add 3D shadow and do loads of other stuff, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna keep it basic. Okay, so there's the two videos, and what we wanna do is drag this over so that we've got it spreading over the whole clips. So that's the first part of the video you've done. There's the side by sides and you've got the text to accompany it. If you then want the next bit of your video from here onwards to go say side one to be full screen then side two, obviously the clips that you have will be a set size anyway so you just drag those over or I'll drag the text over as well. Here we have our full clips, so you go to where you want the first side one to be full screen and you press T, T and T and that will split all of the videos. This little box here is about the centre of the next clip, so what I do is go to there and I press T again, T again and that will split all the videos and also the text which we'll do in a minute. What we want is side one to be the first full screen and side two to be the second full screen so we don't need these two bits of video and so we drag that up so that it's next to it and so you've got side two and side one. Now what we want to do is make that full screen. Click on the first video right click on it go to image size and position and you have it then what you do is press reset on position 
and reset on clip and that puts it into full screen then you press OK and there's your full screen sometimes if you press the reset there and reset there sometimes it might make it smaller and it also might make it bigger for example I've got a picture here drag that in uh, I'm not going to adjust but it's the same if you do adjust or don't adjust you've got the black lines if you do adjust then it makes the picture bigger so what you do is you click on image size and position and you've got this screen again you untick the keep proportions now if you just press reset there it ain't going to do much so what you've got to do is physically make the picture the same size um, if you know what size the picture is then you can just type it into here and that will make it a full screen and so there you go there's your full screen and that's the way you get around that and now what you want to do is alter the title so you double click on the titles go to the beginning of side one basically delete that then maybe you want to put video and sound and that brings that up there then basically what you do is you fiddle around with it until it's where you want it to be change the size all that sort of stuff and then press OK so there's your first full screen and text to go with it then basically you just do the same right click go to image size reset and reset then OK there's the full size screen then double click on the text and it's side 2 we want to keep this time basically you make the adjustments video and sound do a bit of tweaking Fubbly -jubbly. then press OK and there you have it so you got your side by side there fade into the first video full screen and then the second video full screen if you want it to then go back to side by side then all you do is go to the beginning of this tutorial and do it all over again and then you can just sort of fade it in and all the rest of it if people want me to do the same tutorial in movie edit pro 15 then i'm more than happy to do that but for now this is the end of my tutorial i hope it's helped I hope you're having a good weekend and I shall do some more later on. Okay then, bye bye.